how do we evaluate the limit of a function by factoring? Okay, take note that you are going to simplify the function by factoring to evaluate its limit when after direct substitution, the result is 0 over 0 or indeterminate. Let's take a look at this first example. The limit of x minus 1 over x squared minus 1 as x approaches 1. When you replace x by 1, the result is, in the numerator, that's 1 minus 1, 0. And the denominator is 1 squared, which is 1 minus 1, also 0. So the result is indeterminate. To evaluate the limit, you're going to simplify the fraction or the rational expression or rational function by factoring. Okay? So we have the limit as x approaches 1, the numerator, so x minus 1, divided by x squared minus 1. As you can see, x squared minus 1 can be factored as x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now, you can see here that we can now cancel x minus 1. So, x minus 1 divide x minus 1 is 1. So, we will put 1 in the numerator. So, 1 over x plus 1. From here, we can, we can now do direct substitution. That is 1 over x approaches 1. So, 1 plus 1. And therefore, the answer is 1 half. So, the limit of the given function is 1 half. Look at the value being approached by x. x approaches 1. This is a clue or hint for the factoring. So x approaches 1, we can transpose this to the left, making it x minus 1. This means that one of the factors of the denominator is x minus 1. And if the numerator is still factorable, one of its factor is also x minus 1. Okay, so that will be the clue in factoring. Let's have another example. x squared minus 5x over x squared plus 2x minus 35 as x approaches 5. In this one, when you replace x by 5, the result is indeterminate. So we will factor. And that is the limit as x approaches 5. So since x approaches 5, we can say that one of the factors is what? We transpose this to the left. So x minus 5. We are now sure that in the numerator we have x minus 5 and in the denominator we have x minus 5. Look at the numerator. Since this is x squared minus 5x, we only have a common factor and that common factor is x. So we factor out x. Then x squared divided x, that's x, right? Then 5x divided x is 5. So we are correct that one of the factors in the numerator is x minus 5. And in the denominator, we can find the other factor by simply dividing uh, x squared to x, which is x. Negative 35 divided negative 5 is positive 7. So this is the factor, factored form. Of the denominator. When you check x times x, x squared, 7 times x, 7x, negative 5 times x, negative 5x. So 7x minus 5x, that's 2x, then negative 5 times 7 is negative 35. So we can now cancel x minus 5. And therefore, we now have the limit of what? x is left in the numerator divided by x plus 7. So we can now substitute. That is 5 divided by 5 plus 7. And that is equal to 5 divided by 5 plus 7 is 12. So the limit of the given function is 12. How about the next one? The limit of x squared minus 3x plus 2 over x squared minus 5x plus 6 as x approaches 2. So when you replace x by 2, that's 2 squared 4 minus 3 times 2, 6. So 4 minus 6 is negative 2 plus 2, 0. In the denominator, that's 2 squared is 4. 5 times 2 is 10. 4 minus 6 is negative 6. 
plus 6, 0. So, we can solve by factoring. And that is the limit. So, as x approaches 2. So, x approaches 2, right? This means that what of the factors of the numerator and denominator are both x minus 2. Because transpose 2 to the left, that's x minus 2. So, we can now easily find the other factor. So, x squared divide x, that's x. Positive 2 divide negative 2 is negative 1. When you check, negative 2x minus x, negative 3x. Negative 2 times negative 1, positive 2. So, in the denominator, x, kasi x squared divide x is x. Then, 6 divide negative 2, negative 3, right? When you check, negative 2x plus negative 3x, negative 5x. So, what do you notice? So, we can now cancel x minus 2. Cancel, cancel. So, we now have x minus 1 over x minus 3. And we can now do direct substitution here. So, 2 minus 1 over 2 minus 3, right? And 2 minus 1 is negative 1. 2 minus 3, ah, sorry. 2 minus 1 is 1. And 2 minus 3 is negative 1. And 1 divided negative 1 is negative 1. So, the limit of the given function is negative 1. Okay? Let's now have the next example. The limit of 2x squared minus 12x plus 16 over x squared minus x minus 12 as x approaches 4. Okay. So, the limit as x approaches 4. So, one of the factors of the numerator and denominator will would be x minus 4. Okay. But look at the numerator. We can factor out 2 first, that's 2, then x squared, 2x squared divided by 2, that's x squared, 12 divided by 2, that's 6, so 6x, 16 divided by 2, 8, over x squared minus x minus 12. So the limit would be, so one of the factors is x minus 4. So x minus 4. Then we will factor x squared minus 6x plus 8, and one of them is x minus 4. So, so to x squared divide x, so x, 8 divide negative 4, negative 2. x still there, so x squared divide x, x, negative 12 divide negative 4, positive 3. So when you check, negative 4x plus negative 2x is negative 6x. Negative 4x plus 3x is negative x. Then, you notice that we can now cancel x minus 4. So, cancel, cancel. So, we now have 2 times x minus 2 divided by x plus 3, right? So, we can now substitute. That is 2 times 4 minus 2 over 4 plus 3 giving you 2 times 4 minus 2 is 2, 4 plus 3 is 7, and that is 4 over 7. So the limit of the given function is 4 over 7. So we check, okay, x minus 4 cancel, that's 2 times x minus 2 over x plus 3, so replace x by 4, 4 minus 2 is 2, times 2 is 4, then 4 plus 3 is 7, so the answer is correct. How about the next one? The limit of 8x plus 32 divided by x squared plus 5x plus 4 as x approaches negative 4. So when you replace x by negative 4, uh, the result is indeterminate. So we do it by factoring. So one of the factors, the numerator and denominator, is x plus 4. Okay, why is it x plus 4? So negative 4 transpose becomes plus. 
So, but in the numerator, 8x plus 32, we, the, uh, we just have a common factor, which is 8. So, factor it out, and that's the result. 8 times x, 8x, 32 times, uh, uh, divide 8, so 4, so 8 times 4, 32. So, we correct. Then, x plus 4, then x squared divide x, that is x, 4 divide 4, 1, positive. We check, 4x plus 1x, 5x, correct. So, you notice that we can now cancel x plus 4. Cancel, cancel, and that is 8 over x plus 1. So, we can now substitute 8 over negative 4 plus 1. So, 8 over negative 4 plus 1, negative 3. So, the answer is negative 8 over 3. And that's it.